What's good, YouTube? Man, it's your boy Edward Pierre, and we back at it again with another video. You feel me? As you see on the screen, man, we got the Houston Texans going up against the Chicago Bears, man. And I think this is going to be a, I think it's going to be a good game. I caught bits and pieces of it. It was just defense. Everything I seen was like straight defense. Seen. Some of the Houston Texans defense giving Caleb Williams some troubles back there. He back there scrambling, excuse me, for his life. You know, I seen uh, Chicago Bears playing pretty good defense against C.J. Stroud. So, but again, I only caught literally bits and pieces, like seconds um, of the game, man. And uh, I'm excited. I must say, I'm excited to check this team out. And both of them are uh, big fans of both teams, Houston and Texans. I'm a big fan of what they've done thus far. As far as rebuilding their organization. Uh, same way with the Chicago Bears. <clears throat> now, the thing with the Chicago Bears is um, a lot of people, and I've spoke to two people today, um, and they're still upset about the Bears getting rid of Justin Fields. Saying, hey, we could have just drafted Marvin Harrison Jr., this and that there. So some, a lot of people still feel that we should have kept Justin Fields instead of drafting Caleb Williams, number one. Hey, only time will tell. Only time will really tell um, uh, with with a situation like that. But for right now, if you're a Bears fan, you're going to have to support the team and who they got out there on the field. But there is some there is some people who still, you know what I'm saying, hanging in there with Justin Fields, so we'll see. Uh, but other than that, man, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video if you haven't already. I'm a little tired, bro. I'm not going to lie with you. Um, usually I'm asleep right now. I'm not even going to cap. But uh, had a couple games of uh, college football I had lined up. Had to get that right. But uh, you're right, man. See my boy CJ go crazy. First down, he had a 16. Third different running back in the game tonight. Dario Gumbawale is in there. Third and a dozen. Keep it strong. Underneath, and he's double caught by Ogumbawale. As he's short of the first down, it's Tremaine Edmonds. Houston's all-time leader in terms of made field goals. From 56. First points of the night for the home team. Third and 12 for Gale. I've got Caleb Williams. First possession. Nice. See right there, like just a pass like that. That is that is extreme. That's a beautiful pass, bro. That's a beautiful pass. Sitting in the pocket, stepping that throw. Beautiful. Beautiful. Rookie year. You know, of course, you deal with a lot of ups and a lot of downs. You try to see some type of glimpses of greatness in the guy that you selected at quarterback. Nice. See, I like that right there by Williams. Stepping up in the pocket in a phone booth, as they say in boxing. In there when it, where it gets tight, the knit and gritty delivers the ball on the outside. That's beautiful right there. To Swift. I was a. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I was uh, you know, I I feel like getting Caleb Williams for the Bears was an upgrade in my personal opinion. Um, as far as you know, projecting that Caleb Williams will be a star, a superstar. You know what I mean? Not a star, but a superstar in his league. Uh, when he got the arm talent, he makes the off-platform throws. He can run the ball. Um, you know, beautiful. But again, with a situation like that, only time will tell. But I, but I agree with it. That's just my stance. And I agree with getting capable of Fourth and one, C.J. Stroud, easy. That is way too easy. That's Stover, former teammate of uh, C.J., Buckeye. And around to Tang Dale. Tang Dale got himself a blocker. Cut it upfield. Nice. 
targets to Stephon Diggs in that opening quarter. Second and CJ, one. clay pocket, beautiful pass. Oh my God. That's my style of quarterback. I like a guy, you don't gotta keep running. If you can make a play, make a play. But I want my quarterback to make a play in the pocket at all times. I'm gonna be honest. CJ Stroud, accurate, ball placement specialist. That is fine. Ooh, nice move. First play. Right in the end zone. But you get some feel for just how it pairs. Third and four. All right. Nice pump fake. In some trouble. Gets rid of it. And it's incomplete. Okumbawale is the back. Third and ten. CJ stepping up in the pocket. Look at the loft. Oh my gosh. Bro, look at the. Oh my gosh. Look at the first. First of all, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, it's mad late. I'm not going to lie. And I'm not trying to give y'all. But CJ is, is my personal favorite quarterback in the league right now as far as. Just the history, you know what I mean? Just, you know, I'm not going to go deep into it, but as a Carolina, pan, uh, Carolina fan and and just going into that, that draft, just knowing, just already knowing, like, yo, we set. It hurt, of course, but at the end of the day, I, want, I know he was going to succeed. I know he was going to be successful, and I'm loving the fact that he is succeeding elsewhere, you know, just being a successful player in the league. You know, so that's why it's like, bro, Houston, man, I, I love it for y'all. But look at the, look at the footwork. Boom, drop back, step up, float it. Oh my, the floater, just the loft, not too, not too much. The touch on the pass was just, ugh, it was just beautiful, man. It's just beautiful. Oh my gosh, get out of there. This is what they said he couldn't do in college. But if they really paid attention, he it he can do it. Oh my gosh. They tried to get on him coming. Ah man, that's gonna stick with me for a long time, man. The way they play with this man. This dude CJ is legit, past legit. He's that guy. He's that guy. He's that guy. He's that guy. He will get him an NFL ring one day. One day. For the first down marker, see where they put him out. No cap. To get to the 20, he's going to be short of it. So instead, it's Fairbairn for a 47 yarder. Nice. Straight down the middle. But I like the Bears' defense, man. They, I think their defense is kind of underrated. I think their defense can make some plays. Jeez. Oh, he's still up. See, in college, he would have got away with that. I'm going to be real. In college, he probably would have got away with that. In the NFL, it's going to take a little, you know, a little bit more. Man, you feel me? CJ Stroud. You got a screen. Joe Mixon. CJ stepping up. Ah. Good pressure with the linebacker. Edmonds coming in. The third and three, DJ Moore is All right. on the top of the screen. Caleb Williams got the ball right back. Third and three. Got somebody open on the outside. DJ Moore. Nice. Stingley Jr. Stingley Jr. got himself a matchup today. That's my boy DJ. Caleb. Nice. Ooh. That was a big boy pass right there, Caleb. That was nice. I like that. Attacking the defense. No choice. He wants Woo! to play on that Defense, ball. He has to go through First the offensive play. Foul. Sheesh. That was an easy call right there by the ref. Caleb looking to, looking to run the ball. He's not getting down. He's lowering his shoulder. Jeez. Y'all know how I feel about that, man. You're my quarterback. You need to get down. You need to get down. Nice, nice, Khalil Herbert. Beautiful play call right there. That was nice. I like those jerseys right there. One man short here. Nate Davis was supposed to be the lead blocker on the play. He gets tripped up by the penetration. Can't get out there, and they still score. Nice drive that time. Nice drive by the Bears. Yeah, Bears, they set, man. They got a, they got a, a great roster. You know what I'm saying? See, they Stroud sitting in the pocket. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Oh, he's still on his feet. Gets out of bounds. 20 seconds left. 17 seconds left. No timeouts. See they Stroud. Home fake. Oh my gosh! He doesn't drop anything. Oh my gosh. This is nothing less than amazing right here. You're talking about a buck out to a Wolverine? Look at the loft. Oh my god. He just oh my dude. Look at all these guys standing on the back. Look at them, they backing all the way up. And forces Stroud to throw it away. Fairbairn from 59. Got a 59 yard field goal here. Oh, I got him on my fantasy. I got to look at my fantasy. He just knocked down a 59 yarder. Quick out, DJ Moore. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, DJ. All right. This is where it's going to get interesting, man. We're, oh, shit. Damn. Bam. Woo. Welcome to the NFL, my brother. But that's what I like to see. I like I like to see everybody rally around a rookie. I like to see that. But it's about to get interesting. It's about to get interesting. It's about to get real interesting. It's a close game. Second half. It's a lot of young talent out here. A lot of young guys out here balling out. Swift. Swift. This is a lot of young talent on the football field right now. People are flying around. Woo! Will Anderson gets him down on the ground. Don't think they ever played in college against each other. Number 22. Ooh. Third and 10. CJ Stroud. I'm telling y'all, man, that defense for the Bears isn't terrible. They, they can make some plays. Third and 16, Caleb Williams. Locking it over the top. The DJ gets picked off. Stingley Jr. Nice. Looks like he's following DJ Moore. CJ, second and 15. For the digs. Texans leading by six. And CJ getting out of there. Keeping his eyes down the field. Nice. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh my. Dude. Ooh. Bro, the way CJ Stroud played play the game of football, man, it's just beautiful, bro. It's just so. It's beautiful. <laughs> like, it's beautiful. Like I, I love his game, man. That's that's my style of quarterback, bro. I, that's my style. Keep his eyes down the field. He'll get out of there if he needs to. Oh, he's still on his feet. Caleb making a highlight play. Oh shit! Damn. Oh damn. Oh damn. That's the rookie right there. Oh man. Way to get out of there. If you would have put more touch on that, you had him open. No, that would have been beautiful if you put that ball like right around there. Uh, I like that he sees him. He just got to get the accuracy there, man. He got to get the accuracy there. That's what Coach Belichick was saying. He was talking about how he's not impressed with his accuracy. That's what he said out of his mouth. Go look it up. Nico. Man, let's talk about Nico's just... His his rise in the NFL, man. Like, Woo! Oh, Caleb is having a rough game today. Wow! Oh, get off of me! CJ. Wow, whoa, 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 what happened, what happened? 
They just gave the ball to them. What just happened? Oh, he dropped it. Yeah, I see. I see. He reached for it. He dropped it. Hey, Caleb Williams get another chance, man. Only got one timeout on the board, though. Got to go 90-something yards here, stepping up out the pocket. There we go. Nice. Get down. There you go. Nice. There we go. Nice. Four minutes remaining. Oh, he slipped. Oh, and he threw it. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't know if anybody was over there now. Ooh, he's having it. Wow. Ooh, third and 14. Caleb Williams, man. He's looking rough out there. He's going deep. Oh! Oh, that was close. Hey, that's sticky coverage by Stingley. Taking a bunch of hits. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense from the 97. Roughing the passer? Sheesh. Once again, the Texans bring pressure. Williams. He's going to the ends. Oh. You gotta connect on those. I don't. I don't know if that was just bad timing, miscommunication. It had to be miscommunication. Yeah. DJ Moore rocking them Deion Sanders cleats, man. Them jumps clean. If Chicago Bears play really good defense here, they can get the ball back with a little bit of time left. Third and seventeen, and they still got that timeout in their back pocket. And they got that timeout in that back pocket. Uh-oh. Hey. Caleb. Caleb, this is another opportunity for you to be great. This is another opportunity for you to be great and win this game. And win this game. This is the Houston Texans. That defense is legit. That defense come to play. Them, that, that's a young, high-flying defense ran head uh, with, a, with a head coach that's defensive-minded. Man, this, is, this will be a great win under your belt right here, man. Like that. It's time to get in the end zone. Nice. Oh, nice. Dunze. All right, rookie to rookie connection. They still, oh, they don't have no timeouts no more. I don't know what happened. I swear I thought I seen one timeout. Ooh. Ooh, that was a big one. That, that was a big hit right there. Third and 18, they're sending the pressure. Williams getting out of there. Ooh. Ooh, you got to go for it. You got to go for it. Ooh. Oh, miscommunication once again. It's going to be a long season for the Bears, man. It's going to be a long season. Like, it's going to be a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Man. And the rest of their division is 0-2. So two games and a two-game lead for the defending division champions. Nice. Houston starting off 2-0. And the first meeting of these two rookie quarterbacks. Two rookie quarterbacks. What? First meeting of these two rookie quarterbacks. The disrespect, bro. This is not a rookie no more, right? Didn't even correct itself. That's crazy. Look, man, if y'all made this to the end of the video, man, I love you, man. I appreciate you for that. It is past my bedtime. I got work tomorrow. I don't know about y'all. But if you made it to the end of the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, share the share the channel. We're trying to hit 2K. Uh, other than that, man, shout out to the Houston Texans. Shout out to my guy, CJ Scott. You feel me? Uh... As far as a quick end of the game notation, um, Houston's, they're doing exactly what, what a lot of people figured they would. You know, they, I mean, CJ Stroud is elite. He is top five right now. Um, and they have a great head coach. This, this is a well put together Houston Texans team. This is a legit contender for the Super Bowl, honestly. In my personal opinion, this is an elite. <laughs> This is up there that can compete with the Bengals and the Chiefs and, and the Ravens. 
when it comes to the AFC Championship, somebody fighting to make it to the Super Bowl out the AFC. That is a contender for sure. Uh, Bears, uh, it's going to be an up and down season. Got a great roster, but you got a rookie quarterback. You know, um, hopefully you didn't expect the rookie quarterback to come to play like this man on your screen because this man is an anomaly. You know what I mean? He's doesn't have the status that he has now for literally no reason. So Bears might take some time, may take the entire season. You feel me? Uh, but I do think you're going to see a lot of good and a lot of bad. Um, that's just what comes with it. You know, as a Carolina Panthers fan, I seen Bryce. I didn't see no good, unf uh, unfortunately. And I'm not being mean. You know, we can talk about the Packers game, but that was one game. I feel like the Bears going to see, through, even if you lose, even if it looks bad on the stat sheet with him maybe having two interceptions or something, within that full game, you would have seen some flashes of greatness. You know what I'm saying? It's flashes of the future. You know what I mean? So, um, Bears, you know, just to say there's going to be a lot of ups and a lot of downs. They're going to be competitive because I, I think, I feel like that's a really good defense you guys have over there, um, honestly. Uh, but other than that, man, I'm not going to keep talking y'all head off, man. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Uh, be easy, stay safe, and enjoy the rest of y'all day, man. I'm out, man. I'll holler at y'all later, man.